Health Watch is sponsored by Covered California. I'm looking forward to today's Health Watch, that's for sure. This is because a groundbreaking change for those who are living with HIV. Some patients take handfuls of pills every day, but there could soon be a new drug protocol to combat the disease. Joining me here right now, we have Dr. Nader Poor Hassan. You are the CEO of Cytodyne, the company behind this new drug protocol known as Pro 140. Dr. Poor Hassan, thank you so much for being with us today. You thank say you. that this could revolutionize, revolutionize uh, the process, people living with HIV. Tell us more about Pro 140. Pro 140 is an injectable product where all the drugs out there, toxic drugs, they are daily pills. So patients have to take as many as four, sometimes seven pills a day. Uh, Pro 140, if it's approved as monotherapy, could revolutionize the HIV world because there hasn't been any injectable which would replace the drugs for once a week, and perhaps we could be once a month if we have further tests on this. Okay, so it's, it's key to point out this has not been approved by the FDA. You're going through the trial phases right now. Uh, how far along are we? We are in phase three with adjunct therapy. We are planning to do monotherapy in parallel. We just did a phase two B monotherapy with very impressive results. Patients show higher quality of life for the first time in their lives. They were able to put out pills. Some people have seven pills a day okay. and just take a simple sub-Q shots of these per week, once okay. a week. So right now about 1.2 million people in the U.S. are living with the HIV virus. You're saying that they take as many as 49 pills a week and this injectable drug would do away with that process and you would just have to take this once a week, two uh, injections into your body. That's correct. If we are able to get approval for monotherapy, which we are planning to go for, forward with it, uh, we will be able to allow the patients to put up all their toxic pills, completely do away with pills, and just take injections sub-Q, very harmless. No side effect has been reported. Serious adverse events have been reported with this product. And FDA has given it fast-track designation. NIH gave it $28 million worth of grant throughout its development. How, so, how much would this cost and how soon can we expect this to be approved? We could be very competitive with the pills. Uh, my uh, position would be to make sure that this is available cheaper than the drugs, but I will not be the first person who makes those decisions, okay. but it will, we will definitely be competitive. And how soon can you expect the FDA to approve it if it does? We are hoping to be commercial in 2017 with our adjunct therapy, which is in phase three right now. Okay. Uh, gosh, I wish we had more time to talk to you, doctor. Thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to learning more about Pro 140. Thank you. Tony, that's a look at Health Watch on this Wednesday.